Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. On the current week, guys, our second report uh, as a weekly as a video daily update uh, will be dedicated to forex market because, as I said on Friday, on the gold video that uh, probably we will replace uh, for some time, the gold report by the forex report, <clears throat> mostly because in the gold market, as you can see, is nothing really interesting is going on, and uh, I just do not want to waste the time and rewrite the same stuff that. I have uh, talked about in the last week uh, because on the other currencies also some situation is changing and uh, it needs to be adjusted to be updated from us so that's why uh, today I th think that we could take a look at the Great British Pound because we haven't talked about the Great British Pound for the three weeks approximately here are some interesting moments appear so let's take a look at it uh, also, we suggest you to read our weekly research because there we are talking on the monthly and the weekly chart, and particularly on the weekly chart, it's the major pattern is forming on the Great British Pound. In the two words speaking, we have a target at 124.50 area on the monthly chart on the Great British Pound. And uh, recently, market shows such kind of the behavior that suggests the downward breakout. So here's why we think so. Recall our analysis of the that we have made three weeks ago. So we talked about this Gartner's triple two buy pattern. In general, we have expected the possible retracement here, and we said, well, maybe market will after this drop, it, it will show it as minor retracement because here it's major target on the monthly chart has been hit. Also, market has the unfilled gap here, and in most cases, usually market tends to close the gap, tends to show some minor bounce after the significant drop. And that was our stake on that, that was our bet on this pattern, regardless triple to buy. And we said that, well, not at least market maybe will complete this A, B, C, bottom D patients. Maybe it will show the minor 3-8 retracement. That was our very, uh, cl very close target to the nearest targets, very small retracement. And most interesting things uh, have started to appear after this action has happened. So first of all, take a look that CD lag of this A, B, C bottom D pattern was two times longer than A, B lag. Second moment, take a look at market still hasn't completed this A, B, C, D pattern. It was not able to reach even this minor target on the daily chart. This is bearish sign. If you'll take a look at the monthly chart, you will see that uh, really very tight consolidation with the three months when the market wasn't able to show even minor bounce up. And this has, is happening after market has completed the major target on the monthly chart. This is not common behavior for the market. Usually it, it indicates that uh, uh, a lot of bearish pressure stands on the market that doesn't let market to show even minor retracement. So no real investors uh, who would like to make some purchases on the Great British Pound. This very important moment. Uh, so we have bearish sign that market wasn't able to complete the ABCD pattern. Now keep an eye on this trend line. So our triangle that we have discussed. We have the big, uh, big suggestion that. Uh, this triangle could shift to the bottom line. So take a look, that could become the left wing of the bottom line. And that right now is becoming of the right wing with the downward target. This is particularly the pattern that we have on the monthly, on the weekly chart. But here we are mostly interested with the price action around this trend line. So take a look at how it has happened. So first testing, the trend line second testing, breakout. In general, this setup works nice, but market just hasn't just completed this target. But our prediction was not bad. A, B, C, D minor to the upside has been completed. 
So on the way down, market has retested it. And this is most important point. Why? Because market already has shown the upper breakout of the trend. So the normally, the bullish market, or at least in the market that intends to show some meaningful retracement, it should retrace the broken figure and continue move up. But take a look what really has happened. Market has retested, tried to move higher, but failed, and this was the collapsed and returned right back down inside of the triangle pattern. But take a look what has happened after that. Market has retested the same trend line, but now from the opposite direction. This is very bearish moment. As here, as here. And right now market stands at the lower body. Usually, when the market shows the failure breakout of the triangle, and shows an ability to continue move in the direction of the breakout, usually it breaks the same pattern in the opposite direction and dropped lower. This is so-called um, some kind of the bullish trap. When the bulls taking the position in, in, the, in the advantage of this breakout, uh, but later market fails and return it back down inside the pattern and trap the bulls in the wrong direction. So that's what is, has happened. That's why we, we, we have the really suge big suggestion that it's really market could shift from the triangle to the butterfly because uh, all this action indicates that these laws and that laws should be taken out and market probably will drop lower. That's our thought that we have right now on the Great British Bank. So uh, on the hourly chart guys, right now market sets the support. So we can see this is the trend line and also this is the monthly pivot support one. I don't have uh, on this chart, but if you will read the research, you will get it on the monthly ch on the weekly chart. Here is also monthly pivot support one. Uh, the breakout through the monthly pivot support one will also have the special meaning. First of all, this will be the breakout, this is just the support, but also this will be an indication that market stands not in a retracement on the, some trend, but this is really bearish trend, this continuation bearish trend. Uh, the target that we expect to get uh, is 124.50 AM. So you will see uh, this target on the monthly chart. On the hourly chart, guys, as market stands at the support, so you can see thrust down, sell off was not really bad. Um, here maybe we will get some patron, maybe we will get some Jordan Apple patron or some others. This is not double, this, this is not the double repo guys. Although, although the formally you have the close above, the 3x3 three three close below, close above. But this is not the double repo because we do not have the second bottom. So the, the bottoms of the double repo patron should be approximately equal. Or even the second bottom should be slightly lower than the first bottom. When you have the such difference between the bottoms, this is not the double repo. Uh, maybe market will form some another patron. So. But a uh, minor bounce here could happen on the beginning of the week. So market, for example, could test weekly pivot point or even 618 resistance 130 area. It's very probable. It's no, no problems with that. Uh, but in general, guys, the, our view, especially on the daily chart, this picture looks better, especially last part of the trend. It's really absolutely doesn't match to the normal bullish de development, normal bullish behavior. That's why we suggest that sooner or later, but downward breakout uh, will happen here.